Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. The Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. This is morning prayer for Friday of the fourth week in Advent. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Our King will come from Zion. The Lord, God is with us, is his mighty name. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean, O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Our King will come from Zion. The Lord, God is with us, is his mighty name. Wait for the Lord, and he will come to you with his saving power. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the King of all the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives. All who were ravaged may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous who shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of ages. Happy are those who love you and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Wait for the Lord and he will come to you with his saving power. Eagerly I watch for the Lord. I wait in joyful hope for the coming of God, my Savior. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest weed. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow, white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. All-powerful God, it is through your Church, generously endowed with gifts of grace, and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your Church with the best of all food, and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Eagerly I watch for the Lord. I wait in joyful hope for the coming of God my Savior.
Thus says the Lord, His leader shall be from Jacob, and his rulers shall come from his kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. All that God promised to the Virgin through the message of the angel has been accomplished. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. All that God promised to the Virgin through the message of the angel has been accomplished. Let us pray to God our Father who sent his Son to save mankind. Show us your mercy, Lord. Father most merciful, we confess our faith in your Christ with our words. Keep us from denying him in our actions. You have sent your Son to rescue us. Remove every sorrow from the face of the earth and from our country. Our land looks forward with delight at the approach of your Son. Let it experience the fullness of your joy. Through your mercy, make us live holy and chaste lives in this world, eagerly awaiting the blessed hope and coming of Christ in glory. Show us your mercy, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, we contemplate the birth of your Son. He was born of the Virgin Mary and came to live among us. May we receive forgiveness and mercy through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Friday of the fourth week in Advent. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours.